We've been together now for 10 years and music's been a big part of it. Uh, and one of the specific moments that the Philharmonic played in our relationship is uh, we were at school together and I stayed at school where she came, moved to New York and became a young subscriber. And I came to visit and one of the dates that really solidified and sort of made us adults together was coming to the Philharmonic and having a nice dinner a nice great. concert. I think it was Shostakovich, so it wasn't maybe necessarily the most romantic piece, <laughs> but it was something that we really enjoyed together, and, and we, we really remember that night as sort of being the, the beginning of our true future together. When I first moved to New York out of school, and you know, you have that sort of moment of, I'm an adult, and I'm here, and I'm by myself, and, and I can finally do what I want to do on my schedule, one of the first things I thought of was what would I want to do a few times that was special. You know, I was low man on the totem pole at work, working really hard, and I thought that um, something I would love to do would be to come to the Philharmonic more often than just the few times a year with my parents. As we move into a new phase of our adulthood as New Yorkers, you know, we're, we're a decade older now, um, it almost seemed to run parallel. You know, Alan sort of coming in as this uh, younger more exuberant music director felt like we you know we were all sort of moving together into this into this new era the direction that alan's taken the philharmonic has been a little more uh, daring and it takes sort of real support and uh, guts to go after things like the cunning little vixen and uh, just some of the other programs that he's put together where there, there aren't artists that you know and they'll be right next to artists who everyone knows. One of the great new ways and I feel that uh, the Philharmonic's done a great job of communicating the programs, uh, not only in the program notes which can really get you in sort of the, the inner thoughts of why the program is structured and also why pieces were picked, but also it's great when I don't know exactly what we're going to see. I quickly go on the website and you can listen to a little snippet of the music and read about the artists, read about the program and get sort of a, an idea and get prepared mm -hmm. for uh, the night that you're going to have and go in with you know, a little bit more expectation and excitement. And I think the consumption of the, you know, the product has really become 360. I mean, you know, we can DVR live broadcasts, we can watch them on our iPad, we can download, you know, if we're, we fell in love with the way a program was executed in the concert, we can go to iTunes and download it. So I think it's a really exciting, um, very modern and very fresh approach to how people want to consume media. Yeah. It feels a lot more accessible than it did when we started seven years ago. Absolutely.